Almost all shooter games are made by a huge team of developers, taking months, even years, to create a playable game. Call of Duty took three years to create and had a budget of $200 million. Apex Legends took two years to create and is buggy still to this day. In this challenge, I'm gonna make a zombie game in just one hour and with a zero dollar budget. Is this a good idea to mention that this probably isn't a good idea? Timer set! This means I have officially committed myself to make a shooter game in one hour. Oh no. So the first thing I did was make the player. Now, I'm not the best at drawing humans, so what I did here was just make a circle, two sticks for arms. Jeez, look at this man's hairline. That man, Barber, did him dirty. I would not take that kind of disrespect. All shooter games need a gun, and obviously that's what I drew next. I'm not going for crazy realistic detail here, but I'm not gonna lie, that's the best gun I've ever seen. Shee, hire me, Epic Games. Yes, now that the player is done, it's time for the next step, which is to make the player move. So in all games, you need a way of controlling the player, and my man is looking kind of stiff over there. Luckily, it's as easy as amusement improvement. The player now has movements. So now I can move the player using the WASD keys. Now I just need a way of aiming the gun since I don't want to be shooting in a straight line. So point towards the mouse pointer and I'm ready to take on a horde of zombies. Actually, not yet, since the player can't even shoot yet. How am I supposed to battle zombies if I can't even do anything about them? So I made a new bullet sprite, and I drew my detailed rendition of what a bullet looks like. The amount of work and effort I put into this work of art is insane. The time contemplating my existence at this point playing is like trivial compared to the amount of concentration that I- yeah, it's just a circle. Make sure to stick around for the whole video because you haven't even seen the rest of the game yet. Alright, so the player can now move and aim. Now I'll finally be adding in the main part of the game, the zombies and the shooting. So with my detailed bullet costume, I coded in the shooting code, which spawns in a bullet every time scratch the text that I'm clicking. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. I also added a little delay so we can't spawn the whole screen with bullets because that would be overpowered. Nah, we don't want that. Now for the zombies. Scratch doesn't really have any zombies to choose from, so I'm gonna I have to get my creative brain juice here. So there's this monster sprite in the sprite library. It looks almost like a zombie, so Bruh. I'll just have to move the arms, animate it like so, and there we go. <laughs> Why does it look like he's dabbing? <laughs> what the heck? Uh, yeah, that's, hold on, let me delete some costumes. And yeah, there we go. Zombie man can now walk. Well, it's not really a walk, it's, he's more like he's limping. Now I just need to code it so that the zombies start spawning into the game, because it's not really a zombie shooter game without any zombies. I also programmed it so that only some zombies follow the player. The other zombies are just randomly moving around, like they're blind or something, and I think that fits the game pretty well. I ran into this annoying problem. I, I keep on moving around in circles, and the zombies are clumping together. Like, look at that, there's like 80 zombies all piled up in the middle there, and they're all gonna chase me down. Now, in normal zombie games, the zombies act like a horde where they can communicate with each other. If I was using Unity or Unreal Engine, I'd probably code in the zombies to go around each other. But I'm in a programming language made for literal children, so I'll just have to make the. I'll just have to do this. Now the zombies just slow down whenever they touch each other. And whoa, that's not good, yeah. Um, I'm just gonna fix this code and yeah, that's looking pretty good. Normally the touching block doesn't let you select yourself in the options. So I had to do a little hack that allows you to let clones detect themselves when they're touching each other. Pretty cool, to do it, you just drag the sensing block into another sprite and you select a zombie. Then you have to go back into the zombie sprite with the said sprite selected and there you go, pretty cool. Now that I have a level full of wandering zombies, they're looking pretty peaceful. And also I can't shoot, that's pretty bad. Let's bring out the big guns by adding in shoot detection. So I made health for each zombie and I made it so that one bullet can't just take down an entire mob because that would be overpowered. I also made the zombies health go down when they detect that they're touching the bullet. There's also this pretty cool hit flashing effect that plays when I shoot a zombie. You know, cause when you get shot, you flash a blinding white for a couple of milliseconds. Totally realistic. I was messing around with this death effect to think I bugged out the game just a little. So I can shoot, but there apparently there's invisible zombies surrounding me. So the bullets delete themselves because they sense that they're touching invisible zombies. So some quick bug fixes later and now the zombies have a proper death animation. I don't think I'm gonna be messing around with those invisible zombies anytime soon. So now that I have the basics of my zombie shooting game, now I'm gonna make the game spawn waves of enemies. Now normally I would commit this monstrosity, but I don't want to be hunted down by OCD programmers. So I made a custom block here that spawns in each wave. I can even customize how much health the enemies are gonna have, how much enemies are gonna spawn, and even the time between the spawned enemies. That makes it so much neater and easier for me to read. I also added this wave complete sprite that flashes on the screen when the wave is done. That way the player knows how far they progressed in the game. Oh, 25 minutes left. 
um, I think I want to spice up the game a little bit. So I'm first going to draw and the first power up, which is going to be a shield. I'll also make it a little bit more obvious to the player that it's an actual shield power up. And now I have to make it actually spawn. So now that the player can pick up the shields, there is another problem. The zombies don't seem to care that I have invincibility and they phase right through it. I was too lazy to make a game over screen. So I'm going to stop procrastinating and make that right now. Green flag to restart. Um, I don't have a green flag emoji. I'm just going to have to use this flag and just draw a green circle over it there. There, that's perfect. Perfect green flag. Yosh, now that the player can actually die, I need to tell the zombies to ignore the player if he has the shield power, which is as simple as if shield equals no. Whoa, 10 minutes left, shoot. Um, I gotta make one more power up on the weapon power up. So it's gonna spawn randomly around the level and it's gonna offer you three different guns, I think. You either get a pistol, machine gun, or a sniper. Wait, machine gun. Machine. You know what? I like that. I like that. I like that name a lot better than machine. It's not a machine gun. It's a machine gun. I also need to create some new costume animations for the player for the new guns. So we have the regular gun. I will rename to machine gun. We have the pistol, which is basically a smaller version of the pistol, and the sniper. So the pistol is going to be the default gun that you'll spawn in with. The machine gun is going to look overpowered, but it's not really that powerful. It just spams bullets. They're really slow and do barely any damage to the zombies. The sniper is going to be a one-shot gun. It's going to be really powerful, but it's going to take two seconds to reload, so you need to hit every single shot. Time for some sound effects. Scratch, blast them. They don't have any gunshots, so I had to dig through the Fortnite files on my computer to find what I need. Each gun's going to have their own sound effect, and not going to lie, it sounds pretty satisfying right now. I also need to code each gun so each gun has its own reload and damage values so the machine gun isn't too overpowered and the sniper can actually kill in one shot. Sadly, the Fortnite files on my computer didn't have any moaning and groaning sounds for the zombies. So I'm gonna do the next best thing and go online. Now the online sounds, they really aren't that good. I mean, I mean, listen to this. Yeah, so after finding the highest quality sound effect that isn't a man shouting into a microphone and putting them into my game, it is now complete. Look at this, and with just 9 seconds to spare, that is cutting it far too close. Slow my shots, please subscribe.